Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel Dentistry to the Point. This is Dr. Drumil Manik. So in the previous video we discussed about the oral levi, we discussed about the introduction, the varieties and we also discussed about the congenital and the acquired variant of oral levi. Next we move on to the discussion of the histological variants. As we discussed there are three histological variants of levi that is the junctional nevus, compound nevus and intradermal nevus. There is also one more variant which we call it as blue nevus. We will also discuss about this. So I had told you that the junctional nevi, compound nevi or intradermal they are given the names because of presence or the location of nevus cells in those areas that is the in the junctional nevus the nevus cells are present at the junction of epithelium and the connective tissue that is in the histological section next in the compound nevus it is present in both the areas that is in junctional that is in epithelium also and also in the connective tissue and in the intradermal nevus the nevus cells are going to cross the epithelium and they are only present in the connective tissue counterpart so this is about the basic overview of all the three variants so we will discuss them in detail the clinical features of all the variants and also the histological features so firstly we will start with the intradermal nevus so the intradermal nevus means that is one which has crossed the connective tissue the nevus cell has already invaded the basal layer of the epithelium and entered into the connective tissue. The nevus cell kya hai? Connective tissue mein already pauch gaya hai. So these are the most common lesions of skin. Kya hai? The intradermal nevus jo hai that is the most common lesions among all. Isko open common mole ke naam se bhi kehta. You guys will be well aware of common mole. It may be a smooth flat lesion. Ya to ye smooth flat lesion hoga. You guys have watched mole before also that what we call it as a mole. So it is. it can be a smooth flat lesion also or elevated above the skin mole dono prakar ke ho sakte hai that is smooth flat lesion ke bhi ho sakta hai ya elevated above the skin ke jaisa bhi ho sakta hai it is brown in color that is brown pigmentation may be seen on the surface it is not necessary that every mole is brown in pigmentation may or may not be next it often shows strands of hair growing from the surface kabhi kabhi you can see hairs growing from the surface of mole also so you can see strands of hair growing from the surface the most common areas kaun se ho gai intradermal nevus ke toke soles of feet palms of hand and genital areas these are the three most common areas that is soles of feet palms of hand and genital areas now discussing about the histological section of intradermal nevus to kya rahega the nevus cells have already crossed the connective tissue you guys are well aware of it but what are nevus cell how will the structure or how are they going to proliferate so the nevus cell are going to proliferate into a ovoid mass and that mass we call it as theeks they are called theeks of nevus cells so these theeks of nevus cells are going to be present into the connective tissue you guys can see in the diagram that various number of nevus cells have proliferated into the connective tissue but you can see one more thing that there is a zone of normal connective tissue present between the epithelium which is normal and the affected connective tissue jo bhi aapka affected connective tissue hai aur normal epithelium hai uske beech mein ek normal connective tissue ka zone bhi present hai which is separating all these both zones and there are three types of cells present in the histological section that is type A, type B and type C type A cells are called the peripheral cells type B cells are called the central and the type C cells are called the deeper cells now the type A cells which are peripheral are like epithelial type of cells type B cells are like lymphocyte cells lymphocyte like cells and lastly the deeper cells are of which type they are spindle shaped cells so these are the three types of cells which are present in the histological section what you need to remember is that the nevus cell has crossed the epithelium it is in the connective tissue there is a zone of normal connective tissue separating the affected and the normal epithelium so this was all about intradermal nevus and the three types of cells also now next we move on to junctional nevus now junctional nevus is clinically similar to intradermal nevus jo bhi sare lesions hai they are just similar to intradermal nevus so we are not going to discuss about this again it is same as intradermal nevus but histologically there is a difference there is only difference between there is only histological difference between the intradermal nevus and the junctional nevus wo difference kya hai ki isme jo bhi nevus cells the they are at the junction at the junction of epithelium and connective tissue isme jo nevus cells the they have crossed the epithelium and entered into the connective 
टिश्यू सो द नीवस सेल्स आर रेस्ट्रिक्टेड टू द एपिथिलियम जो भी नीवस सेल्स है दे आर रेस्ट्रिक्टेड टू द एपिथिलियम नीवस सेल्स आर अरेंज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ स्मॉल ओवर्ड मॉसेस आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू दैट द नीवस सेल्स आर गोइंग टू प्रोलिफरेट एंड दे आर गोइंग टू अरेंज इनटू अ स्मॉल ओवर्ड मॉसेस व्हिच वी कॉल इट एज थिक्स सो नाउ दिस थिक्स आर प्रेजेंट एट द जंक्शन ऑफ एपिथिलियम एंड कनेक्टिव टिश्यू दैट इज एट द एंड और द टिप ऑफ द रेटिपेक्स व्हाट आर द रेटिपेक्स यू गाइस नो दैट द जो भी रेटिपेक्स रहेंगे उस रेटिपेक्स के टिप पे तुम्हारे नीवस सेल्स प्रेजेंट होंगे एंड दे आर गोइंग टू प्रोलिफरेट देयर so now what will this appearance seen as this appearance will be seen as atrophum or dropping off effect can i go it feels like the nervous cells are going to drop into the connective tissue they are going to cross the epithelium and enter into the connective tissue but they are not going to cross it will just give an effect and that effect is called atrophum or dropping off effect so mcq can be asked in exam that atrophum or dropping off effect is seen in which lesion so you guys must be knowing that it is in junctional nevus so this effect is seen that the nevus cells or the mass of nevus cell is going to drop into the connective tissue so this was about junctional nevus now as we have discussed about the intradermal and junctional nevus now it is very much easy to understand the compound nevus that it is going to contain the characteristics of both so clinically the compound nevus is also going to be similar to the junctional and intradermal nevus and histologically there will be a slight difference that you will see the nevus cell proliferation in the epithelium as well as the connective tissue counterpart the nevus cells are seen in both epithelial and connective tissue dropping off of nevus cell cells from epithelium you can also see dropping off effect of nevus cells in this also because they are present in epithelium so there will show a dropping off effect in the histological section so this was about the clinical features and histological types of junctional nevus that nevus that is junctional compound and intradermal nevus now we are left with the blue nevus now what is blue nevus it is a true mesodermal structure consisting of dermal melanocyte it consists of dermal melanocyte it is going to contain melanocyte which rarely undergo malignant transformation there the nevus cells along with that it is also going to contain the melanocyte the most common site for the occurrence of blue nevus is buttocks dorsum of feet and hands and face these are the three most common site for blue nevus majority are present at birth majority of the blue nevus are present at birth or during the early childhood but these are going to remain throughout the life this blue nevus lesion is going to remain throughout the life it's not like the junctional compound or intradermal that they are going to start then again regress with as the age increases we discussed in the earlier video that as the age increases the number of nevus or the moles are going to decrease now there are two variants of blue nevus that is common blue nevus and cellular blue nevus now the common blue nevus is going to contain the melanocyte as i said it is going to contain the dendritic melanocyte in main and the cellular blue nevus is going to additionally contain a spindle shaped cells which are going to be arranged in the alveolar pattern and the common blue nevus which contains the melanocyte are going to be arranged parallel to the epidermis ye kaise arrange hoge epidermis se parallel arrange ho jayenge and it will be present in the middle and lower section of the dermis uh, it will be present in the middle and lower section of the dermis so this is about the blue nevus i hope you guys have understood all the three variants i have drawn in chart so you guys can differentiate and note the, note this down in your textbook and just add a sticky note in the textbook and just note this so you guys don't get confused whenever you revise this topic in future next we will discuss about some of the oral manifestations and treatment of oral nevi